Alrighty, hey guys, Beard Brigade back with our third pilot episode. Um, I'm actually kind of bummed, to be honest with you guys. Um, so, I had a bunch of games installed, um, ready to do, you know, kind of narrow them down and stuff, uh, games that I wanted to try and do videos in. And uh, one of them was the Lord of the Rings Online. But for whatever reason, the launcher continuously failed to update. Uh, I tried uninstalling, reinstalling it, and nothing. Uh, kind of bummed about it because it was the one that my uh, my wife had picked. So I was kind of looking forward to it, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, my PC just doesn't want to update it. Um, so uh, I had to go with. Uh, the, the next option on the list, which uh, is Mordheim. So, uh, we visited Mordheim uh, as part of our Necromancy series. Uh, this time we're actually going to do a run through, a uh, fresh new game, uh, or a fresh new warband uh, to do the video with. I went ahead and decided to play the Vampire Counts again. Uh, so, in this series, we'll be piloting uh, the Adventures of the Wolves of Sylvania. That's the name of my warband. Um, that was actually a default name that I really liked. Um, so, normally, I usually, when I play Vampire Counts, or when I've made Vampire Counts in the past, I basically, I've had, of course, my Vampire Count Leader, uh, and of course we have the Drag Hero, which we have to have, um, and then normally I do Zombies, because they don't have any leadership, so if a zombie goes down, it will potentially cause the rest of my unit to flee, but, um, this time I decided to go with the ghouls, because I've not really used them at all. I thought they were interesting, so... Um, uh, I, let's, let's, uh, let's go through my group here. Um, I have Ionatan von Karstein, my, my vampire lord. Piotr Vlada Rescu, who's my dreg. He's my hero, he's using a great axe. Fired by Teodor, the ghoul, also using a great axe. Petru, also a great axe wheeler. And Anton, my dual axe wheeling ghoul. So, uh, let's see how, how well these guys fare. I'm gonna give him, give him the pendant. And just see so, so what other models of head do we have. Uh, one with bone thingies through it, and one without the bone thingies in it. And we'll go with one without the bone thingies in it. Pick bone spikes? No bone spikes. We're gonna go with the bone spikes. That looks cool. Sorry, we're gonna customize Anton real quick here. Uh, you know, I like this the first out there. Two stone. And go style two. Uh, waist style two. Or legs. Go style two. And then now waist. So style two. Go style one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, I can change the skin. Green, dark, white. We're gonna go with white. There we go. That's kind of cool. Alright, so there's Anton. Uh, we're gonna see some flame retreat. So perks. Okay. Can't use consumables. It's immune to death stench. Immune to all alone fear and terror tests. And last night, it always fights to the death, prevents the use of flea and retreat actions. Oh. Well, okay. So I guess they will work like zombies then. This is, they actually have a leadership stat, so I guess we'll, I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll jump in and find out what happens, right? So on to the campaign map. One more band, deploys tightly, both more bands scattered. Water guard from the wagon, far from each other. <coughs> so, um, for those of you guys 
don't know if I talked about it in that Necromancy episode. So Mordheim uh, was uh, an offshoot of the Warhammer Universe games. Uh, done by Games Workshop. Yeah, and of course now they Objectives have... Objectives updated. Uh, company did... Company did... Obviously has done a... Hey, um, Nah. Uh, has obviously done a, uh, you know, PC game for it. Uh, careful though. Uh, we're too far off. Get myself caught. So do that. Um, and basically in the game... The... The overall concept of it, anyway, is basically that uh, this big asteroid came down uh, during like an important time of the year and smashed into more time. And as the scan of these green crystal stones, everywhere, which everyone calls weird stones, and they end up having like super magical powers, basically. Uh, so when all the factions of sense forces into the city to attempt to uh, gather the stones. And it's the basic concept of the game. Um, so the way the game works is obviously it's turn based and every so often you'll get an actual like story mission. And the story mission has a difficulty rating and depending on the rating of your group um, it's either a good idea to attempt it or it's a bad idea to attempt it. Uh, so it really just kind of depends on where your group's at, so. Because uh, it's going to depend on like the level of your characters and the equipment they have, uh, any abilities and stuff that you've given them. Funneling fumes. They seem to like that. A new round has started. Alright. Um... But basically, like, the whole goal is either to complete the objectives, uh, which, like, in this case is to put the whole warband out, or rub them. Uh, along the way, if I can gather ten of the reward stones, uh, cool, I'll get a bonus uh, reward for completing the mission successfully. Uh, and the way I do that is I eliminate, you know, once I eliminate enough people, it'll weaken their morale, and once they weaken their morale low enough, they'll retreat. And apparently I see somebody. I just don't know where. Oh, he's already on here. So it appears that's Objectives updated. I will be going against the forces of chaos. What? What? There we go. Objectives updated. Take it the first time. That was weird. Um, now, the other cool thing uh, that happens on occasion is you get to do what is known as a shipment. I did it again. Um, Objective so what the shipment updated. things are is that you have to uh, gain so much weight worth of the stones. And once you have that weight amount, then you can send a shipment off to whoever. Uh, the mission usually comes from like your head poncho thing. It's like uh, the vampire counts. Uh, it's going to come from... Uh, Vlad von Karstein, uh, the head vampire lord. Uh, so he'll want a shipment of the, the stones to be sent to him. So you'll send the shipment to him, and then he gives you a reward for it. And then once you gather so much of it, um, and have sent so many shipments, what he'll eventually do is he'll grant you like boons and stuff because you'll level up your affiliation with him. 
um, and they'll send you boons and stuff. So they'll send you like fancy equipment or uh, give you access to. Um, let's see, let me load down your amulet. Really? That's it. That's lame. Right here. And, uh, and then eventually you get access to like uh, more uh, more types of units or, or better units um, as you move along to. Uh, in fact, after we finish this, we'll probably take a look to see. Kind of guys we get. So I'm curious to see. A new round has started. <laughs> All right, so Vod ended up lower in the chain this time. Oh, Vod, no, no, Vod. I had, I had, I had stopped. So I wonder if that means Anton's Vod first. So far, I've only seen one of them, and it's just a minion. It's not a big guy. Uh, uh, oh yes, yeah, so Anton does go to the first one. Yay, yeah, Anton! We're gonna put you in a bush, Anton. He's gonna be an idiot and come around. And... Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Yes. You suck. And now the slaughter will begin. Yes, yes, my pretties. Yes, match. Yeah, she. I'm the vampire guy. She, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Um, and one of the cool things is like with blunt weapons, so like the hammer, uh, you actually have a chance to like knock them out uh, and stun them, which can get really useful. Oh, crazy miasma. Oh no! Oh, and. MVP goes to the drag. Roots. No, I want. I want the loots. There we go. Wow, wow. Sad face. right there. So, we want to do this. Cover our bases here. Because right now, the drug isn't coming. A new round has started. I want to make sure my guys are protected. So, ooh. So we see their hero and another one of their minions. Uh, so the champion is still out there. That's why I always prefer to be the warband that starts. Um, Anton's gonna cover her foot here. Um, it's only like starting as the warband that starts like all together because otherwise you end up in some pretty bad spots. Oh, there's a hero. Right there.
Ooh. He's being tricked. So is he gonna be dumb enough to... <laughs> Fail to charge this. Oh, you did not just charge me. Ooh. You punk. He failed his terror test, so he's gonna go barrel. What's my drag? He's kicking my butt, man. Look at that. Two hits, he's always gone down. Servant. So one of the cool things about the vampire accounts is that the dregs have home the servant, which allows them to sacrifice some of their health and give it to their vampire lords. And it also bolsters their strength. So now my vampire account that will also uh, do some damage. Ooh. This is gonna be close. And down. Uh, out of action. Boom. Shield of Arg. Protect our reward. A new round has started. Oh, come on. Aim round after that? Dang it. I was hoping they'd get a round out of them. Oh, there's their lord. Are they here? Is a chaos sorcerer? Ho ho ho. Bring the stamp. Boom. Smack. Yes. Smack. Ooh. 50% dodge chance. That's crazy. The 50 50 chance hit me. <laughs> Anton coming around from the back. Ooh, double axe attack. No, <laughs> with uh, Ooh. ouchies to the face. Oh, and the drag coming in for the kill. <laughs> no. There we go. So these guys are gonna row. That is almost for certain. <laughs> and the likelihood of them not oh, I should have done help the servant just in case though. Oh crap, I forgot. I was on English. But yeah, he should definitely. These guys should definitely route. They have one more minion and their leader left, so. And I about killed his leader? Yeah, they're gonna route, for sure. If they don't route, I'm gonna be surprised. A new round has started. Yeah, there we go, we won. Um, so. One of the things, like, with the magic, like, uh, the guy did Weapons of Destruction, which adds, like, a dam bonus damage modifier to his weapon. Uh, most valuable warrior was, uh, Pietor. Yeah, my drag. 166 damage. Holy crap. Um, is that it has a chance to All go mortal flesh must wrong. eventually wither and rot. Only those who have transcended such pathetic limitations are fit to rule. One day, the Empire will be ours. See, so yeah, guys, like, magic has a chance of going horribly wrong. Like, I've had 
uh, chaos sorcerers and stuff uh, explode. <laughs> I'm trying to cast a, a magic. Uh, that's a dagger. Ooh. Okay, so ooh, 17. Oh, jeez. The warp hand is expensive. So we'll sell the bow. Sell the amulets. And the dagger. Alright, so we'll end this day. Wait, no. We can go in here and reduce the points that we got first. So he got. Dodge Shams. This is one of the two. So we'll increase his wounds. A bit tougher. Strength. This is where rating by one. Melee resistance by one. Dodge chance by one. Yeah, we'll up his agility. <coughs> Alright, so there's that. Uh, so, moving along the next day. New shipment request arrived. So there is the shipment request. So visits flawed wants stuff. So he wants 75. So right now I have only 11. So I need 64 more weight. I need to get that within the next 10 day, 10 10 days. It's 10 10 turns, which is ending the the day. Uh, so I can do one mission a day. I need to come up with 64 more. Uh, where it starts. He will pay out 187 gold. I will also get a certain amount of reputation for it. Um, now I can send him shipments whenever I want. Just like I can send some to Cutthroat Stand and Black Pit Settlement, uh, which are secondary factions. And my primary name, of course, is Vlad. Now, at level 1, I want to get to level 1, I get Loyal Agent, which I gain uh, additional data to fulfill the request. Um, I get one. Uh, one item gift, which is a three acre focus, um, which is added to, or a three acre focus, normal quality, also added to the marker rotation. Okay. At level two, um, ooh, I got paid a 60% of market price. Uh, I get a three talisman, and I morph him now. Level three, I get an additional day. <coughs> I get an enchantment pack. At level 4, they pay out at 70%. I get two of each a book of training, toughness leadership, weapon skill. Okay. And I get a free level 7 vampire. Ouch. Um, and then at level 5, I get two more additional days. I get two of each of those tomes, an enchantment pack, and a free impressive unit of a rank 7 Cryptor. Yeah, 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 that is some crazy shenanigans. <coughs> Let's see what a cutthroat den gets us. It's items, some items. A henchman Dark Soul, okay. Ooh, cutthroat den at level 5 for cutthroat den. I get Hero Night Runner. I get Night Runners and Knucklemancers added to my higher list. Ooh. Uh, and then here, Warp Guards and Ghouls can now be hired, and then Mutants. Okay. Interesting. Um, so that's that. Uh, now, the other thing, too, um, for Warheim. So, Campaign is where you do missions and then occasionally a story mission will pop up for you to do. And then you play through the story missions progressively. Now you can also do skirmish mode. A skirmish is like you playing online against other players. Um, and you can either do uh, play for fun without a consequences, or you can actually play and you know maybe lose out on your guys or lose equipment and horribly get maimed. <laughs> In the process, 
you know, then there's also the veteran system. The veteran system is really cool. So I've played enough where I'm actually veteran rank six, and I get a very variety of different perks. So uh, buying prices are reduced, selling prices are reduced. Uh, I start with an additional 150 gold. Uh, higher swords rotation includes uh, six warriors max, three leaders, five heroes, five henchmen, and three impressives. Or up to rank three for these. Uh, and then one additional location, the mission map. Uh, the next rank, I will get an additional skill point, which I can use to get some skills. Uh, let's see what else do I get. Further reduced buying prices, some extra gold when making a new warband. Uh, an initial warrior to my list, and up to rank 5 leaders and impressives. Uh, so, the, so the school skills are pretty cool too. It's like contract stuff for chances at getting weapons or armors. Um, you know, cheaper hiring costs, cheaper training costs. Then I need to get negotiator. Odds oh, that I should have done that's the stuff that I did. Shoot. Oh well. Anyways, so let's do. Another scattered. Let's call it exploring. Let's call it exploring. Let's do scavengers. On this mission, I need to take. Ooh, I'm going against vampire counts. I need to take the vampire lords. Memento and somebody else's memento. Let's see here. I'm just gonna deploy all my guys together here. <coughs> Alright, so looks like if we head down left. There's some stone there. So that's going to be our plan. Down to the left. Now, the stones come in three groups. Uh, so there's the small ones, then there's medium ones, and then there's large ones. Uh, and the bigger the stone, the bigger the weight. So, uh, Ideally, you want to get the large ones because I think they're like 5 or 10. I mean, it's the medium ones that are 5. Because the little ones are only one piece, so they're not very big. Alright, so let's see what we do. Ugh. So these ones here are just smalls. There's something wrong with getting smalls. They're just not... not really helpful, to be honest. Alright, As you guys see, like when you gather these, these stones, they have a chance of, of casting an effect on you, which could be beneficial or negative. So it's completely random. Hopefully I just didn't leave myself like out in the middle of nowhere there. Um. Okay, yeah, cool. I guess I could have just gone that way. <laughs> Anton and wait here. I like Anton. He's got a cool name. Look, I was just not expecting one of my ghouls to be called Anton. 
Like, I figured they had to have some, like, really weird games or something. I should probably head towards that one. That's probably a big cache right there. Right, let's take a look here. And I can probably... Yeah, I can totally cut through there. We'll do that. We'll uh, get that general direction. So one go down in sports. And one go down. Grass so we're going to go after that beacon one real quick. Ooh, I hope I haven't stretched them out too far. That's always my biggest worry in this game. Because I have I am constantly putting myself out there to try and get these stones that and I'm stretching myself too far. And a new round has started myself slaughtered. Feel the terrorist. <laughs> so oh god. Oh god. Oh thankfully. <laughs> thankfully my drag goes first. Well, against the vampire counts army basically have to um, route you have to take out the dragon or the dragon and the, the vampire basically because uh, those are going to be the two guys to fight They don't have any, but they just don't have any arms. Um, because they're basically the two sources of um, <laughs> of um, leadership. Uh, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so awesome. My favorite right there, guys. He basically just lost his turn. Yay, Petru. Oh. Poor Petru. I'm just gonna kind of collect with Petru and hope for the best there. Eh. Eh. Alright, so he's gonna cover the river there. Say I go back a down. new round has started. I don't want to have <laughs> any ghoul. They have the ghoul that I need. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Can't get to some of the other ones. Sad panda. Alright, well, I guess we'll just take what we can get. This time we're out. We're out. We're at this point, then we're out. Hopefully. Is there a ghoul sitting right there? MVP, even though he went down. <laughs> so you guys, but I literally took out two of you guys. Your performance and... has validated the trust Count Vlad has placed in you. Demonstrate your loyalty and enjoy the favor of the Von Karsteins. Yeah, as you guys I saw, I only took oh, I think three days for him to recover. Ugh. Reduction in strength, so I think we can deal with that for missions. Man. 
Let's see, energy number two. Yeah, we'll go with the leadership to get some more morale there. So you get a great axe. That would be three points, which means it is carrying capacity by one. So, yeah. I'm going to go with agility from him. Boom. Back to Warband. Back to Warband. Go to the shop and sell that shirt we got. <coughs> Alrighty, so who's doing that today? New hired swords are available. Hey, you got a normal quality shield. When you hired swords are real. Um, so, I uh, don't want to do too much more here. Um, otherwise, we're going to get too, <coughs> not too in depth and whatnot. So, wow, there's some friggin' high level elites right there. So, math now, uh, guys, um, brings us, of course, to our playlists. So, for our requested playlist, guys, we are going to go ahead and go with. <coughs> um. Let's see. Well, we're gonna go with Slam by Onyx. That sounds like a good one. Um, it was an interesting song. Uh, it was entertaining to listen to, so we'll go with that. <coughs> As for... Our song of the day, yeah, yeah. Song of the day, yeah, yeah. Uh, so for our song of the day, guys, I think... Oh, there we go. That'll be the good one. So, uh... If you guys know who D... I want to see it's D. Anchored. Yeah, I want to see it's D. Anchored. Um, I don't know, they are uh, a raft group out of South Africa, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, if you ever saw the movie Chappie, um, by the same guy who did District 9, um, Chappie, they were, they were featured in that. They were the guys who were the, the two that um, raised Chappie, basically. Um, a very interesting um, pairing. Uh, their, their music is quite interesting as well, um, because they're rappers out of South Africa. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, Leo's cover of the song, I Think You Freaky. Um, I, I really liked, I really liked their music, um, personally. Um, and his cover of some of their songs are, is actually, they're really good covers, so, um, anyway guys, that brings us to a close here, um, so tomorrow should be Monday, and we will be posting our first Monster Monday, which you can expect every Monday going forward, so every Monday now, guys, is going to be Monster Monday, um, I don't know what monster we'll be putting together tomorrow, but we'll be putting one together and uh, hoping that it turns out quite well um, and going from there. Uh, and then going forward too guys, I'm going to start trying to get more on like a kind of schedule 
Um, that way you guys can start expecting certain videos on certain days rather than this kind of crazy, chaotic way I've been going about doing it right now. So, um, so yeah, going, you know, starting, starting tomorrow we'll have uh, Monster Mondays. Uh, um, so look forward to that. My fifth Skyrim Challenge series should be coming pretty soon. I'm still trying to piece some stuff together before I start recording. Um, I may have actually started recording by the time that this video airs. I'm not 100% sure um, uh, the way my schedule is looking. So I'm trying to get ahead of the game as much as I can. Um, that way I can start getting uh, content out and I can really start you know, getting some good edits and free AIs and, and getting some quality stuff out. Um, I know a while back I had mentioned about a GoFundMe. Um, I haven't done anything with that just yet. I haven't put it together or anything. Um, I want to get a little bit more stabilized with how I'm posting some stuff before I do anything with that. Uh, it is something that I will probably do. I, I just don't know yet. Um, exactly when or how uh, I'll be doing it, but um, you know, if you guys are, are interested in you know supporting the channel anyway and, and helping me improve and helping me get some more um, you know equipment and getting some good quality equipment, um, I would definitely really appreciate that because you know um, you know I, I'm still learning with the editing software. But there's a lot of stuff on the editing software too, where I can purchase some upgrades and some additional features um, to help me add some cool effects and help me with some editing stuff. So, um, you know, uh, when it comes to anything like that, where you know any kind of um, supporting the the channel method that I may end up going with, um, you know, it's all going to go directly into the channel. And then what doesn't go towards equipment will then go towards improving software. Um, and then once I have uh, soft, uh, software improvements and hardware improvements, you know, anything after that will go towards, um, you know, maybe getting some new games or getting some DLCs or or things like that so I can show it on the channel, which will be kind of the goal in the long run. But it's all just kind of me talking at the moment um, while I you know, still looking into the stuff and, and trying to get a little more stabilized here. So, um, anyway guys, I have rambled long enough for this. If you guys have liked the video, hit that like button for me. Uh, if you were as excited about Monster Monday as I am, hit that subscribe button for me and hit that bell. That way YouTube will let you know the moment that video gets posted tomorrow and you can tune into it right away. Um, other than that guys, you know, as always, hit me up on Instagram at uh, Beer Brigade Zero. Follow me on Twitter at Brigade Beard. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel as always. Uh, also, check out the website tomorrow. You can find that as always in the description below because I will put a transcription of um, at some point of uh, the video onto the website um, so that way you always have a, 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 an easy reference to it um, on there as well. Um, so probably you guys know me or if, if you've been keeping up with my videos you know how kind of all over the place I can be um, so the, the the article that I'll be putting onto the website will be a little bit more uh, organized uh, I'll probably be organizing all of my thoughts and, and stuff from the video into a more laid out format for you guys to be able to grab it and put it to use so um, you know, guys, as always, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and you guys, you guys take care.